a champion of social justice, economic development, and an environmentalist. And Mr. Hans Riemer. Hans Riemer was first elected to the Montgomery County Council in 2010 with the drive to introduce innovative ideas. Having grown up with parents that were engaged community residents, Hans developed a deep faith in the value of public service at a young age. Did you always think this would be something he would do when he, when he grew up? Well, he was a pretty wonderful kid, so of course. <laughs> That passion for public service led him to find a nonprofit to advocate against the privatization of Social Security in the 1990s and later work on former President Barack Obama's 2008 campaign as National Youth Vote Director. As chair of the Planning, Housing, and Economic Development Committee, imagine it's cleaner there than it is right there, right? But you don't have to tell me. <laughs> a member of the Transportation and Environmental Committee, Hans sought to address what he saw as the most urgent issues facing our county like affordable housing. First and foremost, really moving the ball forward in a big way on housing. Uh, the $100 million uh, production fund, the, the fund for the Housing Commission, uh, will be a legacy and the accessory dwelling units, you know, the backyard cottages and the basement apartments, that's gonna be a legacy. It's gonna just keep producing results for decades. I'm, I'm really thrilled about that. Transportation, so Montgomery County residents have an alternative way to get around. I've been fighting and fighting for transit infrastructure, walking and biking infrastructure. I think we've helped shift the culture. I think the culture of the county has, when I first took office, uh, you know, you didn't really say walking and biking. It wasn't really accepted as a transportation choice. And I think today it is, it is enthusiastically embraced in the county. I, I hope that you feel the way that I do, that in Montgomery County right now, there's a sense of progress a sense of momentum, a sense of responsiveness from the county government to the concerns of bike, bike advocates. We have a very large transit line planned for Route 355 from Germantown all the way to Wheaton, funded with toll revenue. So uh, there's just a, a lot there. And climate. So our community has the tools to be more energy efficient. We have the first station in America to get rid of gas and convert to all electric. And climate advocacy is something I'm really passionate about. This is amazing. You'll charge, you'll yeah. charge up in 20 minutes or so. Yeah, 100% charge. My car is 100% charged. I'm good to go. And it comes through in your planning and your housing and your transportation and, of course, in issues like building codes. We have within our means the ability to decarbonize our transportation sector, to decarbonize our building sector, and to transform our energy grid into 100% clean energy. Hans has also been a social justice champion working to influence public policy. In 2017, Hans joined a rally for immigrant rights on Capitol Hill where he was arrested. We want Congress to make DACA permanent, which is you know, the law that allows many children of undocumented families who grew up here, who live in Montgomery County, who go to our schools, who are succeeding, who are trying to go to college and, and live a good life. If Congress doesn't act, uh, really they are at tremendous risk of deportations. I think it was a meaningful act for me, you know, as, as the beginning of my council term. My, my calling into public service is a calling that's first and foremost about social justice. When I found out about the victims of the lynchings in this county. And then the mob led him to the place of his hanging. Uh, it really brought it home to me. The history of our own role in upholding a social system of injustice and of racial terrorism is not a history that people learn or that people know. And that is what has motivated me to be a Democrat, to serve in the nonprofit sector advocating for reform, to be an elected official, to make progress, to make change. In 2017, when he was serving as council president, he testified on Capitol Hill against a bill that could preempt the county's sick and paid leave law. Employees can use the sick leave they have earned to care for or treat an illness or injury. I can tell you that I have met so many people who have needed to use leave after an injury or sudden illness, such as a car crash or the flu, or taking a care of a child who broke an arm. Thank you, Mr. Reamer, for explaining that uh, from your, your uh, perspective. Hans has also been a fierce advocate for the expansion of early childhood education. Let's get all the low-income kids in this program ready to learn when they start kindergarten. After school care and youth sports.
I think one of the things that I have really enjoyed is, is moving the ball forward on uh, youth sports. The funding that we've been able to push into our athletic fields in the county. We started to realize that we were under investing in our athletic field program and that we needed to start expanding what we were doing so that fields that had deteriorated could be replaced. I'm, I'm a coach and I'm having to book a lot of those fields now for our team and I'm like, I'm really seeing the impact of it now. It's like, wow, you know, I, I, I learned how that system worked and it's amazing to be able to play on a, on a baseball field that you had a role actually in helping to fund. His 12 years on the council have taught him that to be a council member is to know what flexibility and adaptability is. One of the things I learned at some point a number of years ago was you never know what's going to happen in the course of a year at the county council. It kind of reminds me of the phrase that Mike Tyson, the saying Mike Tyson used to say that everybody has a plan for when they get in the ring until they get punched in the face. And that's kind of what being a council member is. Like, you've got a plan for what you think you're going to do and what the council's going to do, but uh, the world around us has a different plan. Invariably, you know, involves making changes in what you had thought you were going to do. That if it was only the five of us, we wouldn't we wouldn't have had a success today. We needed to have a sixth vote, a seventh vote. You know, this is how the legislative process works. As a result of making changes, and, and you will get the outcome you're seeking. Hans hopes that his legacy will live on to bring more growth from Montgomery County residents. I hope my legacy as a council member is showing a path to being uh, effective, to making a huge impact on issues like housing, climate, transportation, economic development and seeing how they all fit together in a way that is making the county a better place to live, uh, it's a, a stronger community. All those issues come together. You got it. You got it. Whatever he does next, like there you go. There you go. Hans wants to ensure Let's talk about how we can work together on this. he stays in public service. Well, I want to keep contributing. I, you know, I don't know. I feel, I feel great about my, my service in the community over the years, and I think it's uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that my future is bright. While some may be nostalgic for the Montgomery County of yesterday, my view is that there has never been a better time to live in Montgomery County. Our downtowns are thriving, our labs are humming, our culture is brewing, and our arts are shining. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a new Montgomery County. We are inclusive, metropolitan Montgomery, and we're getting better all the time. Thank you very much.